This is Luke from Emo Electric. We're here today to talk about ePropulsion's E-Lite. It's their new 1.5 horsepower electric outboard. We're really excited about it. It's the smallest and most competitively priced electric outboard on the market today that has an integrated battery. Uh, it retails for only $9.99. It's got a 500 watt direct drive motor, which is equivalent to about a 1.5 horsepower gas outboard. The battery is integrated right into the shaft here. So there's no separate battery, no wires to plug in. So the E-Lite weighs only 15 pounds. It's super easy to transport and grab the tiller just like that. Uh, the tiller is adjustable, so it can swing from all the way down to all the way up and it locks a few places in between. The shaft length is also adjustable. You can move where this bracket is. It has adjustable trim angles as well, so it can be all the way down, all the way up, or part of the way down for shallow water. And let's take a little bit of a closer look. So when you open your box, you'll find, of course, the E-Lite itself. The battery is built into the shaft here. This is your tiller. Uh, again, it's built in, it's not removable. You also have your transom bracket. So this is what you'll actually put onto the stern of your boat or onto your motor mount. And then the E-Lite will slide right on to that part there. If you need to adjust your shaft length, you'll do it using this Allen key. You've also got two safety lanyards or kill switches. You've got your user manual, your regular 110 charger plugs into a normal wall outlet. It takes about six and a half hours to charge. There are uh, solar chargers and 12 volt chargers that are available for purchase separately. And you also have a carrying bag for the E-Lite itself. So you really have everything you need right here. The only things that people buy with the E-Lite here and there are an extra prop or an extra transom bracket. Now, unlike the Spirit battery, neither the E-Lite nor its transom bracket floats. So you have to be a little bit more careful with it. Uh, and some people want to have an extra transom bracket just in case. Uh, the other thing that people will buy is that spare prop. Just like the Spirit, the prop is made from plastic and it has a shear pin inside. And the reason it's made from plastic and not metal is that in the event of a grounding, we want either your shear pin or your prop to break before the motor itself is damaged. So if you have an extra prop and shear pin on hand, and that does happen, it only takes a couple minutes to switch that yourself and you're back on the water. So before you go to use your E-Lite the first time, there are two things that you need to do. First, is charge it up to 100%, and the other is to register your E-Lite with ePropulsion. You can do this on their website. All you need is your receipt from us. Uh, the benefits of registering the product with ePropulsion is that you'll get updates about the E-Lite and you'll also enter into a prize drawing from ePropulsion. You get two years of warranty, whether you register your product or not, uh, but we do recommend registering. So one of the things we love about the E-Lite is how easy it is to put on and off of your boat. So to put it on, first you'll get your transom bracket and this will get mounted to either the stern of your boat or your motor bracket. And you'll tighten these bolts here. Once that's on there, grab your E-Lite and it just pops right onto here. And when it gets all the way down, you'll hear it kind of click in. If you've turned it to the side, it might not lock down when you first put it on. So the tiller can be adjusted from all the way up to all the way down. We can't do all the way down in the tank here, but to adjust it, you pull this blue knob out, and if you twist it, then it stays unlocked. And if you twist it back, then you can your tiller will lock in different positions. So it can be straight, it can also be up at an angle like that. The tiller itself is adjustable. So if you'd like to extend the tiller, you'll press this button here, and then you can pull it out, push it back in, and then it's locked, and you have to press the button again to pull it out. The trim and tilt angle of the E-Lite is also adjustable. So if you look over here, you'll see that there's three positions for this pin. 
that adjusts the angle of the motor when it's all the way down. So depending on the angle of your transmer motor bracket, you may need to adjust this. The goal here is to have the e-light be sitting straight down. When you go to raise and lower the e-light, you just have to lift up this pin here and then the motor can come up. One of the best features of this, which a lot of other small electric outboards don't have, is the ability to leave it halfway up, halfway down in shallow water. If you wanna raise it up all the way, just continue to lift it, and now you're all the way up and out of the water. When you're ready to put it down, push that tab back up, let it back down. Now, right now, it's locked down. So if you were to hit ground, your motor would not come up. If you're gonna be in shallow water, you can go into shallow water mode. And you can enter that by pulling this tab up and then pushing that blue button back. And you'll notice that this doesn't go all the way down. Now, the motor's unlocked. So if you were to hit ground, it would pop up. You just have to be careful because if you go into reverse, the motor will also raise up. Just take it out of shallow water mode, push that blue tab, and now we're locked again. The display for your motor is right here. So if you just wanna check the state of charge for a minute, press that button and the screen will light up. You can press it hard enough. Uh, and then if you hold the button for a couple of seconds, you'll power on. So it just takes a second here. And now we're on. Uh, you'll have to put your safety lanyard on right here. This is magnetic. It's a nice little wrist band as well. Uh, and then to operate your motor, simply twist your tiller, either to go into forward or reverse. Unlike a lot of gas outboards, you don't have to spin this all the way around if you'd like to use reverse. Uh, and your screen here, We'll give you your power output in watts. Now, right now it reads zero or one uh, because there's no water, no drag on the prop, but once you're actually in the water, that will give you a more accurate power output. So if you're going full speed, that should be 500 watts, half speed, about 250 watts. Uh, and that can be useful. It can also give you your state of charge. If you tap this button once, you'll see now we've gone from watts to 100 percent because our battery is fully charged some other features that we really like the adjustable shaft length so you'll see these screws here there's two more down at the bottom uh, you have to pop this off in order to adjust it this isn't something you'd be doing often but you'll see there's four positions that allow you to essentially adjust the shaft length of your e-light now most people will find that they'll want the shaft length to be as long as possible because the shaft is pretty short as it is. If you have the Spirit 1.0 Plus and extra short, the E-Lite is the same size uh, shaft out of the box. If you have the Spirit in short or long shaft, the E-Lite will not work. The shaft is not, not quite long enough. So right here, you've got your charging port. This tab is on a spring, so it'll pop back down, keep that nice and sealed. Above it, you've got the USB-C output, so you can charge your phone or other electronics with that. And then right here, you've got this little ring that allows you to lock the motor or to put a line on it in case you were to drop it in the water. So one of the most common questions that we get about the E-Lite is how long does the battery last, right? What is the runtime? So the test that e-propulsion did with the e-light on an eight foot aluminum dinghy found that you get about 45 minutes of runtime at full power. At half power, they got uh, about an hour and a half of runtime and the boat speed was about four knots at full power and three knots at half power. But we're actually gonna take this outside, throw it on our dinghy and we'll test that for ourselves and see how long it lasts. So one of the things we love about the E-Lite is how easy it is to put on and off your boat. So first you just take the transom bracket, center it on your transom, tighten these up, just hand tight, don't need any tools. Then we're gonna grab our E-Lite. First you have to bring the tiller up, it's all the way down, it won't fit on there. 
and then it just slides right on and we're ready to go. When you're all done, to take it off, just press this button. You don't have to hold it in, which is really nice. The light comes right off. What I usually do is I'll pull out the tiller knob, lock it again, and then you can grab your e-light just like that. And then most people just leave the transom bracket right on their boat. But if you'd like to take it off, only takes a couple of seconds. You're good to go. So this is our first time trying the e-light out on the water. Right now we're at about half power, so about 250 watts. Speed up a little bit here. That's full power. So it's super quiet. I'm not sure how well the sound's gonna come across in the video. We uh, will test out, see if the safety lanyard works. Looks like it does. So if we put it back on, the motor won't start up until it returns to neutral. Once you've brought it back to neutral for a second, you're good to go again. So right now we can see the power output in watts displayed on our screen. If you click the power button once, it'll show you your state of charge. So right now we're at 90% and there's also this bar down below that'll round it to the nearest 10% to give you a quick idea. Uh, it'll also give you an indication of if you're in forward, neutral, or reverse. So right now we're in forward. If we go to neutral, that switches to an N. And if we go into reverse, we can see there's an R there now. Out of the box, the steering friction um, is relatively tight. It's, it's very easy to move the tiller back and forth. But as you can see, if I take my hand off the tiller, the motor doesn't turn. Um, so, you know, sometimes you get these motors and as soon as you take your hand off of it, it starts moving around. I think we've, they've done a nice job um, making this tight, but not too tight. So right now we're doing about four knots, just under, especially because we're going into the wind here. The E-Lite does not give you real-time range data, unlike the Spirit Evo. So right now we can see what our power output is in watts. We can see what our state of charge is. But what we can't see is how many minutes we have left before we're out of battery at this speed. That's something that you do have on the Spirit Evo, uh, but we don't have it on, on the E-Light, unfortunately. So after you've used your e-light, there's really not much you have to do before you put it away. If you've used it in salt water, we do recommend that you spray it off with fresh water. And really other than that, you just have to check your state of charge and see if you need to charge it. Now, a few notes on lithium batteries and state of charge. So all lithium batteries do degrade over time, right? Just like you've noticed with your phone after a couple of years, battery doesn't last quite as long. But there are a few things that we can do to ensure that our battery last as long as possible. So first of all, avoid running the e-light battery down below 20%. If it happens every once in a while, it's not a big deal, but as a general rule, once you're to about 20%, it's time to charge the e-light. Now on the other side of things, you also want to avoid charging the e-light if you've only used 10, 20, or 30% of your battery. So generally speaking, if the battery is below 50%, but above 20% charge, it's time to charge it. 
In terms of other maintenance on the Elite, there's really not much that you have to do. Of course, there's no gas, no maintenance. The motor is passively cooled, so just that motor being in the water keeps it cool. There's no salt water running through the motor to cool it like there is with gas outboards. No winterization. We don't even have the cables that you have on the Spirit that you kind of have to worry about uh, getting corroded. So throughout the season, really all you have to do besides the freshwater rinse is just keep an eye on the charging port here and your USB-C output. If it looks like there's some corrosion in there, you can spray a little contact cleaner in and just try and work it out with a toothbrush. And then as a preventative measure, about once a month, spray a little bit of contact cleaner or WD-40 in there uh, just to prevent corrosion from happening. So before you put your e-light away for the winter, there's really not much you have to do. I'd give the contacts here one more spray with WD-40. If you didn't rinse it off after the last time you used it, give it one more good rinse. Uh, and then you just wanna make sure that your state of charge is about 45 or 50%. That's where e-propulsion recommends storing the e-light when it's not gonna be used for a couple weeks or over the winter. E-Propulsion also recommends that you check the state of charge every three months over the winter. So all you have to do is click this button, see where your motor's at. If it's gotten a lot lower than 45, plug the charger in, charge it back to about 45, 50%, and then you can let it sit for another three months. E-Propulsion doesn't recommend storing the motor with 100% state of charge or close to zero particularly important to not store the motor for a long time if you're close to 0% state of charge. Like we mentioned before, these batteries can self-discharge, right? Like all lithium batteries, they'll slowly lose a little bit of their charge over time. And if your e-light is close to 0% and you don't use it for a while, it can deeply discharge and then the battery may need to be uh, replaced. So that's about it on the e-light. Uh, this is a great option for sailors who just need something to get in and out of their marina or for anyone with a dinghy that's going a short distance. If you guys have any questions about the e-light, about this video, please leave a comment below. We'll leave a link to our web store if you'd like to purchase. And we hope you found this helpful.